A'uzu billahi minash shaitani rajeem I seek the protection of Allah against the devil Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful Rabbi zidni ilma Oh my lord increase in my knowledge Rabbi shurah li sadri wa yassar li amar wa luqdatum min lisani yafqahu qawli Oh my lord open for me my chest grant me the self confidence contentment and boldness and make loose the knot from my tongue that they understand my speech Assalamu alaikum may peace blessings and mercy of Allah be upon you and to all the messengers of Allah and in particular on the noble and the final messenger prophet Muhammad peace be upon him his family and his companions in this video we will be learning about our section B planning budgeting and forecasting of the CMA part 1 financial planning performance and analytics it has the weightage of 20% in exams social factor that needs the consideration social factors refer to a company's culture its population growth rate the average age of the population and the age distribution and the attitudes of its citizens towards things such as the health and careers Social trends can have a great effect on demand for a business products and services. Other social considerations include demographics can be used to see where in the country people live and work. Education level as the education plays a major role in what kind of work people do and how much disposable income they have. Attitudes of the population towards the environment. Leisure interests of the population. technological factors that needs the consideration technological factors help a business determine what technology to focus on in the future new developments in technology affect how the business operates on a day to day basis and how it delivers its services and interacts with its customers and suppliers technology can impact the structure of the company's value chain technology can affect the cost structure of the business Technological advancements can help a business reduce its costs and become more profitable. Competitive analysis. Competitive analysis is similar to SWOT analysis in some ways. It involves analyzing the competitive environment in which a business operates or is considering operating in to determine the following: its strengths and weaknesses of competitors. demographics and needs of the market in which the business operates strategies to improve the company's position in the marketplace impediments to the company's entering new markets barriers the company can erect to limit the competitor's ability to erode the company's place in the market competitive analysis includes defining the competitors analyzing the competitors strengths and weaknesses analyzing the company's own internal strengths and weaknesses analyzing the customer needs and wants studying the impediments to the market for both the company and its competitors such as patents high startup cost or a high level of knowledge required for success developing a strategic plan that reflects the findings from the above activities boston consulting group BCG growth share matrix The BCG matrix classifies the product into four categories based on the growth of the markets they are in and their share of those markets The matrix is a 2 by 2 grid Market growth rate is shown on the vertical left axis and the relative market share is displayed along the horizontal top axis A product's position on the relative market share scale either high or low indicates its cash generation capability and its position on the market growth rate scale either high or low indicates its needs for cash for investment a star is a product with a high market share in an industry with a high market growth rate and thus the product is capable of generating substantial revenue robust market growth leads to rapidly growing sales and that growth in turn creates a need for increased working capital to support the required increases in accounts receivable and inventory therefore a star product requires a high level of cash for investment if i star can maintain a high market share when the market's growth rate declines it will become a cash cow when managed properly star products can ensure 
future cash generation the company may adjust the price of a star product several times decreasing it to claim the market share and then increasing it to maximize revenue as the product's market share and popularity grow a question mark is a product in an industry that has a high market growth rate but the product has a low market share in a rapidly growing market the question mark sales also grow rapidly so question mark product consumes a great deal of cash for investment but conversely the cash generated by the product is low because of its low market share a question mark has the potential to gain the market share and become a star and then eventually a cash cow when the growth rate of the market slows but for the present a question mark product is problematic in that it generates a negative net cash flow furthermore if the question mark does not contain a greater mark share of its market it will turn into a dog when the growth rate of the market declines a question mark may or may not be worthy of the additional investment that would be required to increase its market share it needs the careful analysis to determine whether to invest more money in it because the market share of a question mark product needs to be increased quickly to prevent the product turning into a dog pricing of a question mark product should be aggressive a cash cow is a product in a mature industry that has a low market growth rate but the product has a high market share cash cows generate more cash than they consume they are regarded as boring but any company would be glad to have them they should be milked to extract the maximum profits investment in a cash cow should be minimal because the slow growth of the market causes returns to be minimal cash cow products are fairly stable in terms of the feature and price a dog is a product in a mature industry with a low market growth rate and the product has a low market share a dog neither consumes many resources nor does it generate much cash it is usually barely breaking even investing in such a product is not effective or efficient because it depresses the company's return on assets pricing for dogs is not a major concern and dogs should be sold off according to the bcg matrix the natural life cycle for a business unit or a product is question mark then star then cash cow at the end of its life cycle the cash cow turns into a dog however if the question mark falls to achieve the star status that is stardom it falls to the dog level dog dom when the market's growth rate slows characteristics of a successful strategic plan the characteristics of a successful strategic plan are a strategic planning should be an ongoing process a successful strategic plan is integrated throughout the organization in developing a strategic plan all former assumptions should be challenged strategies should be long term in nature employees at all levels should have input into the strategic planning process everyone in the organization needs to know what the firm is trying to achieve the strategy should be communicated clearly and often to everyone in the organization the success of the strategy lies in its execution the strategic planning process should be viewed as an opportunity to develop a shared vision increase the sense of joint ownership among the staff and build leadership team that is focused on moving the business in the right direction advantages of budgets when properly developed and administered budgets promote the coordination and communication among the organization units and activities provide a framework for measuring performance provide the motivation for managers and employees to achieve the company's plans promote the efficient allocation of organizational resources provide a means for controlling operations provide a means to check on progress towards the organization's goals methods of developing budget budget development can be done using a participative process an authoritative process or a consultative process a participative budget is developed from the bottom up all the people affected by the budget are involved in the budget development process 
even lower level employees. This type of budget development involves the negotiation between the lower level managers and the senior managers. An authoritative budget is developed from the top down. Senior management prepares all the budgets for every segment of the organization. The budgets are imposed upon the lower level managers and employees. A consultative budget is a combination of authoritative and participative budget development methods. Senior management asks for input from the lower level managers, but then develops the budget with no joint decision making or the negotiations involved. Goal congruence. Goal congruence is defined as aligning the goals of two or more groups. Budgetary slack. Budgetary slack is the difference between the amount budgeted and the amount the manager actually expects. Building in budgetary slack is the practice of underestimating planned revenues and overestimating planned costs to make the overall budgeted profit more achievable. Budgetary slack reduction. Ways to reduce the incidence and effect of budgetary slack include Use budgets as planning and control tools but not for manager performance evaluation. Reward managers based on the accuracy of the forecast they used in developing their budgets. For example, the company's senior management could say that the more accurate a division manager's budgeted profit forecast is and the greater the amount by which it is exceeded the higher the manager's bonus will be. Use measures other than the comparison of the actual results to the budget to evaluate the managers. For example, managers could be evaluated on comparison of actual results to the external benchmark performance measures. Top management should educate the lower level managers on the importance of accurate budgeting. Difference between the controllable and the non-controllable costs. Controllable costs are costs for which the manager has the authority to make the decisions about how money will be spent. Non-controllable costs are costs that are ordinarily controlled at a higher level in the organization such as the manager's salary or bonus. The manager's salary or bonus is controllable but not by the manager. The manager's salary will usually be assigned to his or her responsibility center's budget and will appear on reports comparing the actual results to the budgeted amount, but the manager should not be held responsible for it. Standard cost. When standard costing is used in the manufacturing, the terms standard cost, budgeted cost and planned cost are used interchangeably. Standard costs are the estimated manufacturing costs for direct materials, direct labor and manufacturing overhead that are predetermined or estimated as they would occur under the conditions in the budget. Standards are usually set based on the interviews, analysis and engineering studies that identify the time needed for the various activities required to manufacture a product, the amount of direct materials needed for each product and the cost for each unit of time or unit of the direct materials. This learning video is designed from my book CMA Part 1 Financial Planning Performance and Analytics 2022 which is available for subscription from my website zenacademy.us or mzen.org. Please do like the video, share it and subscribe the channel for amazing contents. Feel free to ask any questions relating to studies through WhatsApp on 923-11-222-4261 or through email at help at the rate zenacademy.us or help at the rate mzen.org. May Allah, Lord of the heavens and the earth, bless you in this world and in particular in life hereafter. Ameen. Have a nice day with love and care. Allah Hafiz.